Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the following pedigree concerns two families, each with a history of the same disease, a disease inherited as an autosomal recessive. If individuals 4-3 and 4-4 marry, what is the probability that their first child will have the disease? So 4-3 and 4-4. One family, another family. Let's connect them with a the line. And let's put a child here of unspecified sex. So we use this sign. Because we are told that this is autosomal recessive genetic disorder, sex here is not important. According to this pedigree, both 4, 4 and 4, 3 have normal phenotype. So we have to find probability that they have recessive allele. So they are carriers. So they belong to the genotype capital A small a and capital A small a. In this case, the child may inherit recessive allele from each parent and be affected just like some of his relatives from both sides, mother side and father side. According to this pedigree, we know that this male here is homozygous recessive and we have to assume that all other members of this family who genetically unrelated to this person would be phenotypically and genotypically normal. What is the probability that the daughter would be carrier? 100% because from the mother side she only can get dominant allele and from father side only recessive allele. So we know for sure that she is obligate heterozygous and her husband, we also assume, is homozygous dominant, homozygous normal. The son of this couple from the father side only can get dominant allele. So can get dominant allele, but from mother side can get dominant allele or recessive allele. So we say that probability to get recessive allele is going to be one half. Again, we assume that this female is phenotypically and genotypically normal and her genotype is capital A, capital A. What is the probability that the daughter would inherit this recessive allele from her father's side? Again, from the mother's side, this female can inherit only dominant allele, but from father's side can inherit dominant allele or recessive allele. So the probability is going to be one half to inherit recessive allele. So let's put one half here. And what is the probability for the child of this couple to get recessive allele from the mother side? Again, one half. Now let's count one half here times one half here is going to be one quarter and times one half here is going to be one eighth. Probability to get a recessive allele from the mother side is going to be one eighth. Now let's take a closer look at the father family. We see that this male is affected. So his genotype is small a, small a. But his parents are phenotypically normal. That means that their genotype is capital A small a and capital A small a. So parents are phenotypically normal, but each can pass recessive allele to their child. So we know that they are obligate heterozygous. Now let's find probability that this female is heterozygous. We know that both parents are heterozygous. We know this for sure. And if we build a simple Punnett square, take a look what going to be chances of this female to be heterozygous. Capital A, capital A here capital A small a here, capital A small a here, and small a small a here. As you know, this female doesn't belong to this genotype, otherwise she would be affected just like her brother. We know she's not affected. That means that she belongs to one of these genotypes. And her probability to be heterozygous is going to be out of three, two, or two out of three. So let's put this probability here. So probability that this female is heterozygous is going to be two thirds. 
and we assume that this male is homozygous dominant. So again, what is the probability that the daughter would inherit this recessive allele? From the father's side, she only can get normal dominant allele, but chances 50% that she is going to get dominant allele or recessive allele. So her probability to get a recessive allele is going to be one half. And what is the probability that this female, who is the mother of this male in generation four, would pass this recessive allele to her son? Again, we assume that her husband, who is unrelated to this family, who has this genetic disorder, genetically unrelated to all these people, so he married into this family, he is phenotypically and genotypically normal, so for the son to inherit this recessive allele from the mother's side, also is going to be probability is going to be one half. From the father side, the male only can get one of these alleles which are dominant. And now, what is the probability that this male would pass this recessive allele to his child? And probability is going to be one half. Again, choices this allele or this allele. So, to pass a recessive allele, genotype of the child would be small a, small a, so child would be affected, would be, let's count, two thirds times one half, so let me write down, two thirds times one half, times one half, so times one half, and times one half here, so times one half, let me check, two thirds times one half, one half, one half. And we are going to get, let's take a look, two thirds times one half is going to be two over six, or one third times one half is going to be one six times one half is going to be one over 12. So one over 12. So let's put this number here, one over 12 would be probability for a child to inherit recessive allele from the father side. But this is not the end of our calculations. We also have to multiply these two independent probabilities. So one eighth times one twelfth is going to be one over 96. And this is going to be our answer. This is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.